All this month on Cook This, I'm taking a culinary walk down memory lane, sharing with you my favorite soups I loved as a kid. Some I give a modern twist and some stay true to classic tradition. Today I'm elevating tomato soup with grilled cheese to a whole new gourmet level. So first to get started, I have some butter melting in my pot. I diced one large onion. We want to get that into the pot. So we are going to saute some onion, a little bit of garlic. This is the beginning stages of building this soup. So certainly this is not the soup you grew up eating, not that tomato soup from a can. This is homemade. It's really fresh and delicious and I keep it rather simple. And that's what makes it so good. So while the onion is sauteing, I have two cans of San Marzano tomatoes. So these are from Italy. They will say that on the can. You want San Marzanos, you don't want plum tomatoes. It's going to give it an extra little special flavor, tad sweeter, so delicious. So what I like to do is throw them right into a bowl. And then with my hands, clean hands, I gotta take off my rings, I'm gonna crush those tomatoes up. So we wanna just sort of do this rustic. In the end, we will later, later <laughs> puree this and make it silky smooth, but right now we wanna release all that flavor from the tomatoes. In goes the garlic, so our onion is now sauteed. So the reason why you want to crush up those tomatoes is it is gonna simmer for a good 30, 40 minutes, and you really want to release all that flavor before we then puree it. And it's funny because, you know, even though these are canned San Marzano tomatoes, they are the tomatoes, those plum tomatoes from Italy, nice and sweet, but not all of them are ripe in the can. You know how you can tell is when they're really, really tender. Really ripe makes a better soup. You can't really control that. You don't know what's in the can, but just keep that in mind. If you find that when you're crushing up the San Marzanos, depending on what brand you're buying, if they seem a little underripe and a little more taut, just add a little bit more salt and pepper, just to sort of bring them up and enhance them a little bit more. That's a good way you can kind of correct it, but you don't know what you're getting from the can, but you can control it just a little bit with seasoning. Onions and garlic are looking good. Next into the pot, we want some chicken stock. So you want a good quality chicken stock. I'm not afraid to use store-bought chicken stock. In fact, if you're not a restaurant, how many chicken carcasses do you have laying around in your house to make homemade chicken stock, right? It can get kind of really time consuming. Just pick one you love. Here's some dried basil, a tad sugar. Why are we adding the sugar? for the San Marzano tomatoes. So that just cuts through the acid just a little bit. We don't wanna make it sweet. We just wanna cut that acid just a little bit. In go the tomatoes. We're gonna bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer. While our soup is cooking, we now need to make the grilled cheese part of our tomato soup, right? So classic, grilled cheese and tomato soup. So great to dunk it right in there. Well making a little bit more of an elegant version of that, more finger food friendly. So not a legit closed sandwich, but more of an open face, little toasts. So here's what you're gonna do. Take one baguette, cut it crosswise into these little crostini type toasts. You wanna lay them out on a sheet tray. I like to use day old bread. You certainly don't have to, but it will absorb the butter better and toast a little bit nicer. Toast are all sliced. So you wanna line them up on a rim baking sheet. 375 degrees, our, our oven is heated. Okay, we have some melted butter. Now you just wanna brush all the toast or you could throw these into a large bowl pour the butter over top and then just toss them. 
that's a good easy way to get them all coated in the butter. So I'm going to toast, I'm going to, excuse me, butter <laughs> both sides of our little toast, season it with salt and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. Into the oven they go about 15 minutes until they're nice and toasted. Then we'll pull them out and top them with cheese. So our soup was cooking for about 40 minutes and then in batches, I added it into my blender. And you always wanna be careful when you're adding any hot soup or anything hot into your blender, you wanna put a kitchen towel over top of the lid and hold on tight because that heat could tend to blow that lid off and it's happened to me. <laughs> so our soup is beautifully silky smooth. Tastes great. Back into the pot. Now you want to finish it with a little bit of cream. All right, so now we want to put this back over a low heat. When you're adding cream, you never want to bring it to a boil because it can scorch. So we just want to warm that cream through and go check on our little cheese toasts. All right, our toast are nicely crisp and toasted. So here's what I like to do. So carefully, because they are hot, group these little guys together and they smell so good. Garlic toast, come on. Butter garlic toast. Can you smell it? You will soon enough when you make this. Okay, group them together. Why? Because now we're gonna add the cheese and I'm trying to make less surface area for that cheese to fleck onto the sheet tray. <laughs> we want it on the little toast. So I just wanna huddle them together so we can grab onto that cheese. So we're gonna put it right over top and then I'll spread them back apart so they can evenly toast and get them back into the oven. Five minutes is all it needs just to melt. We just want that to melt. So this is our modern take to that classic grilled cheese that we know and love as a kid. You can never be too old for a grilled cheese, right? Okay, back into the oven. So, did you see these delicious garlicky cheesy toast? Oh my, oh my, they're so good. Add a little bit more soup into my bowl. I like to finish it with freshly cracked black pepper. This is not the tomato soup you grew up as a kid in the can. This is fresh, simple, delicious. You are gonna love it. So good. Simple creamy, perfect comfort soup. Mmm. You're gonna love these little toasts. For this recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.